All right, we are recording. Oh, I hear, uh, hold on, let me turn my sound. <laughs> Let's see. Hello? Yeah, I'm trying I think to. I Okay, I'm trying to see if I have a kickback because when I first said hello. All right. Um, hi, everyone. I have a very interesting episode today for you, episode or a video uh, for you. Uh, today, I have someone here with me, River, who many of you have seen on my website. She is teaching uh, art classes, healing art classes, and I wanted us to get together and talk a little bit about um, the project, about what we're doing, about, about what she's doing and how she's incorporating healing into the classes. Um, so hi, River. Hi. <laughs> Hi. hi everyone all right we already chatted before so we're just doing the <laughs> hi for you now um we, we we were talking about nature and all of that but um yeah we um uh, river started doing uh classes um art classes with different themes on the website and we have a vision for this of course we wanted to grow we wanted to expand we wanted to serve um it's appropriate for all ages starting from any age and going up to any age uh, for anybody that wants to learn art or for just people that want to um, uh, to bring a form of meditation that is not a you know still meditation. So um, do you want to tell us um, a little bit about uh, how you view art? What is art? So I really well I really started uh, at a young age, but. Uh, but just from what I understand now, art is really emerging with uh, the self or emerging with the soul. Um, it's a way to co-create with the universe. It's a way to meditate and find uh, the peace within yourself, kind of like yoga or Tai Chi um, or any other healing art. And it's really just an opportunity to be really in the moment. And uh, it can give a really good platform for you to um, set aside time with yourself to really just understand and communicate within with your heart and things like that. Yeah. And um, uh, how did your particular art form evolve? And how do you also, I will include the second question here, how do you see the evolution of the classes on the website? So say a little bit about what you're doing on the website, how your art form evolved and how do you see the evolution of the classes too? So my art form started uh, very naturally when I was young and I just started understanding more and color and shape and I, I kept that communication and I kept that open and uh, that I've seen really the evolution of my art come from you know more abstract forms where you know there's not really like a focus in the painting to more of now like an actual message or channeling to the painting. And it was amazing to see it evolve from all that because it started just pieces with like one color and then it started with pieces incorporating more colors and then more shapes came in and it started to take form. It's very similar to how human consciousness takes form and how children start out kind of uh, in a simple way. And then as you get older, you get more complex and defined lines and things like that. So I really see that uh, for myself and it ended up being like beautiful channel for communication with myself and a beautiful channel for like movement with myself um, through many um, through many times in my life where I, I needed, uh, you know, some just backup and it really helped me move through emotions and things that uh, that were going on. And I've seen a similar evolution through the website too. like I started teaching. Um, just like beginner concepts and like how to channel and what that feels like. Because a lot of people, you know, if you don't start out art when you're younger and you just are, you know, at whatever age you're at and you're wanting to begin art, a lot of people don't understand like the wording, you know, of like, we'll just channel through the brush. It might not make sense to everybody that. So I started teaching like the kind of beginner concepts of how to feel that connection and that communication from the spirit through the I guess through the mind or through the consciousness to the painting and um, through the classes on the website I've realized that um, to me like when I look at the canvas now it's more of a reflection of my consciousness than anything else 
And it's just like a, it's become like a very enlightening for me actually just teaching the classes. So yeah. um, that was like a cool to see through the website as well. And then um, for the spoken word, I wanted to start there because I feel like where everybody's moving now in the, uh, on the earth and the way consciousness is moving, we're moving from more like words and old paradigm existence to kind of newer um, energetics and like almost like a telepathy or uh, intuition with things. So I wanted to kind of have that translation and art and move people through the use of words through their consciousness and their understanding and then transforming that into at the end kind of like more of an intuitive take where when they look at the canvas they just are able to paint what they feel and instead of uh using the words specifically that's very interesting it's also almost like a different form of how a lot of people are familiar with um stream of consciousness writing so this is a whole nother layer of it so something coming through you and also um it's almost like a tool to begin to learn intuitive or telepathic communication and uh, with the self but then with others as well because you step out of the the language exactly yeah. and it's some it's kind of similar to nature how nature gets the the mind out of the man-made creations you look at a leaf and you understand a little bit more uh there's a deeper layer than just you know when you look at a building or something like that and I feel like it's kind of similar, like people might start to feel or pick up different things in their lives, you know, when they when they have that stream of consciousness coming in through art. Yeah, I do feel um, the reason why we started doing it on the website is because it's complementing to a yoga practice to add the same. It's, it's the same consciousness um, that we apply to a yoga class as far as healing and movement and deepening and going in and uh, seeing the world from different perspectives uh, and self-knowing, the deepening the self knowing it's, it's applied to, uh, to um, intuitive drawing. So your project in particular is called Intuitive? Uh, yeah, Intuitive Art. And this first bit was the spoken word project. So yes, the spoken word project. And I do feel that, um, um, the way I, I mean, everything evolves, the more, uh, the more, and we teaching, we teach ourselves, of course, um, when we teach a class, we, we are basically, it's, it's in, goes in both directions. Um, and I do feel a different word will come that uh, in, on New Earth, we're going to have a different word for teaching, but for now I use it because, you know, for ease of understanding what we're saying. Um, but it, it evolves in such ways that it's, um, the participant also uh, affects um, the teacher or the, the one that's transmitting. So it, it, it's going to evolve in such a beautiful way. And I do feel, how do you see, because times are changing right now, and I feel within yoga for sure, I have been able to contemplate way deeper concepts and way deeper healing modalities than um, before. Before it was available, but somehow the timing is now. Um, and it's in, because time is spinning up on top of it and the energies are really expanding and condensing and becoming stronger and, and more expanded. I feel that also the same will be happening with art. So how do you see your uh, project in, um, that's a very big question, like in regard to the current times. Yeah, I, I love the questions. So I art definitely reflects the current times. And I think that I've seen um, a lot of artists like transmute their techniques and like uh, the way that they paint, the colors that they use and like the lines that they use to almost like, um, how do I explain, um, shapes that more like guide, that are more from the heart, you know, yeah. rather than like paintings that just uh, are of a scene or paintings that are, you know, of just a picture of a flower or something like that. Although that's beautiful, I see art transforming into something that actually is like reflecting almost like the crystal, crystalline shapes. And um, I'm definitely feeling more of a connection with the art. And like when I'm painting, there's definitely something 
bigger moving through than there used to be. Um, and it takes like a, a different kind of focus and it takes a different kind of, it's not even a mental space. It takes a different kind of soul space and heart space to move through that energy. And I feel more direct messages coming in. Um, like I used to just kind of be able to paint loosely colors and lines and it would get the vibe across enough. But now it's like, I'm being kind of guided to make very clean lines and, you know, very um, just shapes more like with nature and animals specifically. So I see it totally evolving in the same way where there's like a, a deepening to it and expansion to it. And also like a more a directness to it where there's almost like a mission or a message coming through. Yeah. It's almost like with the somatic classes in yoga and with also how we interpret messages from the subconscious or from dreams, uh, because they never come in words. They always come in images and colors and uh, in, a, in a feeling. So it, it's, it's deepening that muscle in the, in, the, in the mind. Yeah, and I would say art is pretty somatic. Like just after doing it for so many years, you know, there is more of a, um, you know, when you're doing somatic movements, you kind of, you follow a guidance that's not, um, it's not any kind of structure. You're just almost letting something else like yeah. within you guide you. And I feel like art has become the same way where people are just now letting something beyond them, a spirit, you know, God, the universe, consciousness guide them. Yeah. Yeah. And I forgot to say this in the intro, but uh, uh, River has been uh, practicing with me. That's how we met originally in LA um, six years ago, five years ago. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. And she she's still in California, back in LA, uh, but she is also practicing um, yoga with the community. And this is how we originally cross paths so she's she's she has a really big i feel contribution um to the current times and in general to create and i see expansion in the project but this is the the stage we're at the 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 flowing art the intuitive art the communication art and um, just de deepening the intuition because when we move in yoga we find different ways of relating, connecting, listening, hearing, um, and communicating uh, with the body. So this is just another layer of, of it, an, another way of deepening the healing experience, a different way. Everybody has, can, can use all the tools available for healing. And I feel that's a, that's a, a very complementing to yoga tool. Yeah. Wow. I see that too. And I would love to one day like teach, uh, do workshops in person or something like that. I think that would be really cool. And I know that I want to do um, definitely like art for the organs and like art for crystals and things like that, because I feel I've been learning a little more about crystals recently. And I think they definitely, there's a message that can come through that would be really neat to do one day. So I see that. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to go back to the crystal classes after the, uh, now we're doing the yoga for the glands and yoga for the cells. And although every time I do um, a class, I feel this is my favorite. Now, uh, when we were at the organs level, I was like, this is definitely my favorite. But now I'm feeling the cells is it, especially when the microzyma, because it's the, con the particle of consciousness. Yes. I feel that too. I'm getting a message that my internet connection is uh, not very strong. So hopefully the recording is okay. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we, we can actually do together the, the crystal classes, uh, meaning we can do the similar themes for some of the classes. Uh, we can synchronize some of the schedules so we can do uh, some of the, there's so many crystals I didn't get to cover, you know, just even to scratch the surface of the crystals. <laughs> So, Absolutely. yeah, and I feel when you connect with the consciousness of a crystal, because some people feel that we should not get crystals from the earth. I feel even when you just think about a crystal, you connect with that um, frequency, with that consciousness. Also, our, the earth does want us to use uh, the resources that are here to serve us, expand our consciousness. Uh, but how they're mined, obviously, is very important. 
Um, Definitely. Uh, so we can have a few precious ones that are quality, but when you draw them or when you do a yoga class with meditating on a crystal, you really don't need it. You don't need a crystal. It's, it's, it's an available consciousness. I agree. And you can, you can even get really fancy with your art, you know, and do like, I have friends who paint uh, with rose water instead of just regular paint water, they spray rose water or um, helichrysum or frankincense uh, hydrosol and they paint according to that right. you can match your crystals to your paintings you can incorporate the high frequency waters you can um, do like a meditation before you can paint out in nature there are so many ways that you can uh, resonate or have like a deeper connection with your your art and your communications and your um you're basically like you're just strengthening your energy, you know, strengthening your aura and clearing um, and bringing in new beautiful energy with those things. So there's so many cool aspects to dive into. Yeah, it's like a clearing so that you can have, you can bring in higher frequency states, which is exactly That's what is the times now. We're trying to clear out the old debris um, because once we have, a clean, a clean state we can begin to, we have access to far more right now. Um, and that goes with the uh, memory of water. Um, I wonder what will happen if the water is charged, you know, with, with uh, the way um, the memory of water was done with the images. That oh yeah, it changes the frequency of it for sure. I, there have even been studies like people have, have just done like, um, you know, the auric pictures that you can get taken of you, people have taken auric pictures of paintings with charged water and it, it makes a huge difference. Wow. So you could even do that. And uh, the people of, let's see, it's been proven, color therapy has been proven, like healing the kidneys if you're painting in dark blues or healing the heart if you're painting in greens. There's an actual energetic shift that you feel. And children, I think children were more open to the color shifting than adults were, but of course you can definitely uh, still get there as an adult. And um, yeah, you can use uh, charged water and that would be, that would be beautiful. And then it's uh, like higher frequency and hanging on your wall, you can meditate with it. Well, um, speaking of which, I just had the idea because someone asked me to do yoga uh, for the colors like the specifically not even for the chakras but strictly on the colors we can also do a project um, to where i do the yoga and you do the the painting for each color because just to get the every color obviously is a spectrum of the light it's so it's very interesting to contemplate the, the frequency oh that would be neat yoga for the colors that would bring in like the spectrum of the light and intuitive wow. part for the colors, right? To yeah. just really, really engulf yourself in the color. Yeah. Definitely. And I noticed when I uh, when I did your liver classes for the spring workshop and we did all the eye movements, um, my art improved that week a lot. Mm -hmm. And I think mm -hmm. that definitely had something to do with it. <laughs> you know, the, those eye movements that are more up, down, sideways, they're more to induce a meditative state. And then... I'm including different eye movements, which is with the neck and the entire body moving, learning, remembering to use the entire body with the movement. That is more for the physical eyes, but that really helps with uh, shifting into a meditative state. So maybe it shifted you into a more of a alpha or gamma state. Oh yeah. And I, I also use, I mean, I use yoga while I do art as well. I'll sit um, in lotus position or I'll use them. Um, a long time ago, you did like the magic fingertips classes. <laughs> oh, that's a Johnny's technique. It is. <laughs> yeah. I love it. So I, I usually, when I'm painting and I, I want to bring more, um, more connectedness in, I think of the magic fingertips. <laughs> yeah. Johnny had something where he says, you just collect all the most joyous thing you can ever, you know, collect, and it's right all here. And then you drink it up. But it's you can so instead of drinking it, you can just <laughs> put it on the on on the board. Yeah, I love it. I know it does work. It does. It really does. And it's it's all like where you what you spoke about even this morning on Instagram, like bringing your consciousness through to a certain point you know and streaming it through yeah 
<laughs> These are beautiful times. We're living in such intense and such profound times. And they're not just difficult, but they're also historic times. And um, we're going to look back on these times as a massive grand opportunity. Yeah. And we feel like a lot, most people feel like there is such, such a massive shift happening in consciousness. And um, new tools are available to us. I feel with your contribution, on the website, I forgot to mention they're for, they're now free. The classes she's offering them uh, free in the future. Maybe we'll do either donations if she prefers that, or uh, some form of uh, something that feeds back into her for her uh, work. Uh, but right now she's offering them for free so that people can use that tool and add something new to their because new things are available to us. Uh, to assist us in, in this shift, in this uh, amazing shift in, in human consciousness. Um, so I feel that this was pretty good. Um, we can come back um, if we decide to do um, either the crystal or the color project, uh, we can come back and talk more about it. But if you have any concluding uh, words, you can, <laughs> you can add it. I feel just the times are beautiful for art, for intuitive art. It's just the yoga meditation, all of it. I do too. I think it's like the most healing and it can be the most uh, soothing and connected and uh, joyful things that you can do throughout your day. And I feel like it's just a, um, it is like a, a truly beautiful time. Colors have never been brighter. The sun's never been brighter. The Everything is just so, um, you know, it's like polarized but it's be it's a beautiful polarity where we can really ride these high notes and ride like the yoga and uh, creative ways with music and art and, and um and love and expansion so i feel like that's definitely going in that direction it is yeah and with art i feel that because we can go in and tune into the organs the dna just we can restructure our body i feel it, it develops that imaginative capacity to imagine and to travel in and to just restore because it, really everything is mind and um, it starts with intention focus attention awareness consciousness uh, so as we as we learn to use those newer new tools for some of us um, intuitive movement intuitive art it's it's allowing us to uh, really tune in and use the opportunity right now um, available to us. That's yeah, I think consciousness. Sorry. Oh no, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> yes, beautiful. All right. So we'll see you on the website uh, with the classes, with projects. If you have suggestions for projects, uh, of course, you can post it there. Uh, we'll see you with intuitive art, a lot of the classes, also the yoga classes are intuitive movement. So we're, we're exploring new, new areas of uh, movement consciousness. Art is a form of movement. It's a form of, uh, it is an expression, but it is such a stream of consciousness uh, and such a healing modality. So um, I'm excited. I originally was imagining to add different tools on the website. And of course, I've, um, I've known River for a while. And I thought maybe, sh maybe that is how we can start to expand um, the themes on the website. I would love to build a community there with different artists or different, different offerings there that will assist us in the new times for, uh, for self-development, self-awareness, capacity to heal ourselves, and also with ways that we can serve um, the collective, the collective consciousness. Definitely. I love it. All right. Cool. And uh, yes. Uh, uh, all right. Thank you, everyone. And I'll see you on the website. We'll see you. Thank both. you.